Hey yo everyone, once again we're back together and this time we're looking at 5.5 where they want us to determine the general solution uh, of that equation. All right, it just looks a little bit uh, on the complicated side, but of course I know this is not impossible. Of course, if you haven't subscribed, do the right thing, just hit that subscribe button. And of course, uh, you know, you can always uh, follow us on the socials. Okay, Mlungi Sinkosi is the name. All right, let's get right into it. So, they've given us um, cos x minus sin x. So, we've got cos of x minus sin x, right, which is equal to square root of 2. Now, in this case, uh, well, there's really not much that we could do in this case in terms of converting into sine and cos, or in this case, uh, you know, factorizing and so on. However, I do realize we've got a square root there. So what I'm going to propose is that we square on both sides, right? To try and get rid of that square root. Okay, so I'm going to square on both sides. Now, once I square that, notice what does it look like. It now becomes cos squared of x minus 2 cos x sine x, right, My, uh, plus rather, sine squared of x, all right. So once I square those, uh, obviously it becomes two brackets, cos x minus sine x, uh, multiplied by cos x minus sine x, and this is equal to two, okay? Now, what can we do? Of course, it's always important for us to recognize once we've got one of the square identities, right? So, cos squared of x plus sine squared of x, what does that become? You remember that cos squared of x plus sine squared of x gives us 1, right? Minus 2 cos x times sine of x, which is equal to 2. Right, so we are now going to take this 1, uh, to the other side, we transpose it. So 2 cos of x sine of x is equal to 2 minus 1. Of course, it changes sign when it goes to the other side. Right, so now we've got negative. Now notice in this case, what is this? This is the expanded single formula, right, for sine 2x. So I can write this down as negative sine of 2x, what is it equal to? 2 minus 1, that will give us 1, okay? So let's multiply by negative on both sides, negative 1, okay? And what does this give us? It just simply changes the sign. Sine of 2x is equal to negative 1. Now, ladies and gents, you must keep in mind, we're going to look for uh, the solution this time. So we're going to say, well, 2x is equal to the arc sine of negative 1. Now, please remember, when we find the arc sine, there are two possibilities that we've, we, we have. So 2x will be equal to the arc sine of negative 1 will give us negative 90. But please remember, we say plus k360. Remember that the uh, sine graph repeats at every... A 360 interval, right? Uh, but remember, this is where k is an element of integers, right? Now, where is our other solution? Remember, in this case, we uh, for the sine graph, we say the solution is at what we call our reference angle, but we always say 180 minus that angle as well, right? So this will be 180 minus negative 90, okay? Right, so remember you've got a uh, negative 90 over there. So that's your first solution. That's the second one. This is plus K360. All right, now um, in this case, what do we have? We've got, right, we can divide by 2 on the left. But whatever we do on the left, we do on the right. So X would be negative 45 plus k 180 okay or right we do the same here 
Remember, we would have 2x is equal to 180 minus a negative 90. That gives us 270 plus k360. All right, and when we divide by 2, x will be equal to 135 plus k180. But remember that k is an element of integers, right? Uh, that goes for that side as well. So there are my two general solutions, right? That x is minus 45, negative 45, or x is 135 plus k 180. Right, and that is how the cookie crumbles. I hope that you understood that and you enjoyed it. All right, um, look out for uh, in this coming week, I'll be giving you some more, um, you know, prelim preparation questions, all right, particularly on paper one uh, this time around. Otherwise, I'll see you guys again next time. Shop, shop.